Welcome back to my channel once again. What I'm going to talk about today, folks, a social experiment. This is what they're doing, folks, in Chicago. It's nothing more than a social experiment that they're doing with our youth, folks. So they want these youth to get out of hand, folks, so they can just go ahead and turn these cities into a 15-minute city, folks. Do you hear me? But before I get into anything, folks, I'm going to go ahead and use copyright claim 107 for educational purposes only. Fair use, fair use for learning, teaching, hearing, and understanding people. We got to get this thing underhand, folks, before it gets out of control. Yes, we got to get this thing handled before it get out of control. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Stay tuned, folks. Nothing more than a social experiment. Go along with that mentality. Here in Chicago, like I said yesterday, my city is hot. I presented a video titled Hundreds of Chicago Teens Act a Fool Downtown. Check it out. Yes, acted a plum fool. But we're better than that. And I'm telling you, I have a spirit of love. It needs to be addressed. Watched more videos last night, got up this morning, see what the latest was from the politicians. And yeah, as far as I'm concerned, we're walking into a trap. And like I said yesterday, over 90% of what I saw was my people. It needs to be addressed. I ain't trying to hear this thing about Uncle Tom. <laughs> if Uncle Tom got some sense enough to tell you what's going on, maybe you need to listen. Because when the bailiff and the courts and the lawyers get done with you, you're going to get exactly what they expected. Entrapment. And that's going to hurt society as a whole. I've said that Chicago is a targeted city. There's a social experiment going on. Again, there's a social experiment going on. And they need eyes, ears, feet, mouths, and your actions to get it done. They want a new world order where they can control. The social activists are out here already. Trust me, like I said, entrapment. So I want you to watch a few videos with me right quick, give you analyzation because we gotta be smarter than that. Don't walk into a trap. Young people, you need to listen to elders. You need to listen to experienced people, especially people who have seen this thing overseas. It's a social experiment to take our freedoms, but they gotta justify it, okay? Your behavior exhibited the last 48 hours, it's a problem all day. Not only in this city, it's happening in other big cities too. They got a plan. It includes you, but then again, it doesn't include you in the future. Morning community activists are demanding action from city leaders after a large crowd of teens descended on the loop, resulting in chaos and more than a dozen arrests. Glenn Marshall is live in Michigan and Adams with the latest plan. Hey, good morning, guys. On our weekend, violence downtown along the lakefront into a multiple teens getting shot, and now the mayor is calling for parents to take responsibility of their kids. In total, it was three teens who were shot over the weekend as groups of kids flung to the downtown area in 31st Street Beach. Friday night, police are telling us a 14-year-old was shot as hundreds of teens took over the beach area. The chaos continued Saturday evening here in the loop. Police are saying shots were fired only a 16-year-old and 17-year-old boy. So cars were damaged. People were jumping on CTA buses. Officers tried to control the group while they jumped on parked cars, kicked passing cars, and even smashed windows. Videos show fights breaking out before the teens ran away. We need to get the Chicago Police Department to... You know what's anything strange about that video? Women. My women. In the middle of the street. Kicking cars. Women. Women. <laughs> Come on. Some up. But they got something for you. Trust me. The community activists. And I wonder are they appointed? Watch this. This is insane. Large numbers of young people crowding the area of the loop from Michigan Avenue to Clark Street. It could be seen 
jumping on parked cars and smashing windows. Two times, groups of teens were also seen punching, kicking, and stomping on someone on the ground. The crime in Chicago is simply out of hand. It's nuts. Community activists outraged and calling on city leaders to help address the crime. They need to give the Chicago Police Department the funding and the resources that they need to take care of this crime in our communities. As chaos unfolded Saturday night, it was enough to disrupt traffic and CTA service. Officers flooded the scene, attempting to control the crowds. There needs to be more respect for our police officers. There needs to be more law and order. The punks outside in the street, they don't care. They can do anything they want. In the midst of it all, shots were fired just at... This is nothing more than a setup, folks. That's all it is. It's another setup. Like I said, this is nothing but an experiment. So they want these teens to get out of hand, folks. Yes, they want them to keep on getting out of hand. So they can just swoop on in and turn these cities into 15-minute cities, folks. So you got to watch these people. This is what they're up to, folks. I'm telling you what I know, folks. They want these teens to get out of hand. They could have, they can control this. They could have controlled this before it got out of hand, people. But see, this is the game that they played. Yeah, we've been played, folks. We have been played. Let's get back to the clip. See, they playing along like everything's out of control, they, you know, and all of this and that. Come on, man. They could have controlled it. in my humble opinion, is called social speech. You're calling, you're calling for something. And allegedly they have the mouthpieces to respond to this. More police, more police, more police. I'm not on that social level where I know what the stats are, percentage. I understand we're down police, but you run through certain neighborhoods of Chicago, every four blocks you see a police officer. We got enough police. It can be done. They stood around yesterday. They hadn't been given the order. Not that cracking heads as it, as it happens is a solution. It's, it's about prevention. It's about getting in these high schools and grammar schools ahead of time and letting them know that this will not be tolerated. Seeing them on the CTA bus and the trains at the L, letting them know if you're coming down here with a red pack to do something, we got a paddy wagon for you. Matter of fact, we got about 20 buses. As soon as you get out of hand, we're going to round you up. We're going to take you. We're going to arrest you. We're going to call your parents. We're going to make them accountable. It's all about prevention. This can be done. And this crazy stuff, police come out. We didn't know this was going on. You got all the high-tech information you need on a hot day. That's letting you know. If it's happened before, it'll happen again. All your major cities, cut it out. You know how to prevent. You get paid to prevent. It's your job. Do your job. Young people, you're walking into a trap. And women, look at you. Disgusting. It's tough love. Are you insane? You're kicking somebody's car? You kick the wrong person's car, you're gonna get, you know what, right in the middle of the street. Then what? Laying up in the hospital and maybe in the morgue. Don't be stupid. Somebody's giving you an order, either directly or indirectly, and you think you can come down here and act a fool. It's only a matter of time before they rake this thing in. What am I saying? I deal with the five C's. The clues, the codes, the colors, the confirmation time and conclusion. I'm going to say allegedly, but I smell a rat. I see a social experiment where you are the lab rat. You are the social lab rat. And you're playing right into their hands. They want 15 minute cities. They want control. And if they do it in a major city, they come into another city near someone else. Don't be utilized at them. Now let's look at some photographs right quick. All of a sudden we got these community activists. Look at them. Don't you see the red and black? The red and black means sacrifice. Check out my old videos. 
Then you got like the black, the black and the gray, or like the black and the white, right? Like the checkerboard. That means you're playing both sides. You stay in the middle, right? You're on the side of justice and you're on the side of injustice. I'm gonna say it again for you all who don't understand. You play both sides. You play the you play the part of injustice and justice because it's a social experiment. It's what it is, folks, a social experiment. And our young people are falling right into the trap. Parents, get a hold on your children, folks. Get a hold on your teens. Before this thing gets out of hand, folks, because they're setting us up, folks. They're setting up the youth so that they can have control over us. See, they want this thing to get so far out of control so they can have more cops to come in. And they're going to turn these big cities into 15-minute cities, people. I see the setup. It's coming, people. We got to get this thing under control before it gets too far out of hand. So if you like this work, stay tuned, folks. I'm just here to give you a heads up, people. All right? Peace.